Tonight, some San Diegans want a change in leadership after a mask mandate was put back in place at all San Diego Unified Schools. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Marcella's off tonight. As of today, all staff, teachers and students at the San Diego Unified School District are required to wear masks indoors. That affects everyone going to summer school and summer enrichment programs. It's being met with a lot of emotional pushback from some in the community. Our Anna Laurel joins us live from the community school board office and as some parents rallied and protested because of the mask mandate today. You're exactly right, Carlo. Now out here, I'm just fine without a mask, but if I want to go inside and talk to somebody as of today, I've got to start wearing one of the, these for at least the next couple of weeks as they continue to take in data, reassess the situation. But for the parents and the new school board candidates who are protesting today, they say making kids wear these again does more harm than good. San Diego Unified is reinstating an unscientific, unlawful, and harmful uh, mask mandate, even though there is no state mandate at this point. No state or county mandate yet, but San Diego County is now in the CDC's highest COVID transmission level because of the latest wave of cases and hospitalizations. When it rains, you put an umbrella up, and when it stops raining, you take the umbrella down, and that's the analogy that you know we're now using with, with COVID. San Diego Unified School Board Trustee Richard Barrera says back in the spring, the board approved recommendations from health experts at UCSD and Children's Hospital and others. If the county moves into the highest risk tier, as it is now, the district reinstates the indoor mask mandate to stop the spread, hoping to keep teachers and students in class. What we saw with the Omicron surge in January was high uh, rates of student absences and staff absences. And that is obviously very disruptive. But mother of four and new Carlsbad School Board candidate Sharon McKeeman says new mask mandates hurt kids already behind because of virtual learning and school closures during the pandemic. Masking has been proven to harm social and linguistic academic development. Masking children makes no difference in transmission rates and most uh, kids have already had COVID and have strong natural immunity. She and other parents at a rally today against indoor mask mandates say they're now running for school board seats because districts are not listening to parents or students. Anyone who's been in a classroom with kindergartners knows that the reality of cloth masking and kids, it just, it doesn't work. And I posted this on a couple of my mom's Facebook groups, and that does seem to be a big concern with moms, how to keep these masks on their kids. A lot of you know how that's been the past couple of years. Okay, so what does this mean for the upcoming school year? As for the summer school program going on right now, there's two more weeks left of that. So masks will be in effect for that. The school year starts August 29th, and so the school board will be, again, reassessing all the data coming in. If San Diego County is still in that highest risk tier, there will be masks August 29th. Live out here at the County Board of Education, Anna Laurel for CBS 8.